Hi everyone! Welcome back to Teacher H's class. So today we are going to discuss the classification of weight status by body mass index. Okay, so here's the WHO or World Health Organization classification of weight status BMI. So, di-discuss natin kung ano yung indication ng bawat BMI ng isang tao according to its weight status. Kung siya ba ay underweight, normal weight, overweight, and obese. Okay. So, weight status. And then, BMI. Or yung body mass index. AG. I have another video teaching how to calculate the body mass index. So, if ang nakalculate yung BMI is less than 18.5, it is classified as underweight. Ibig sabihin, if it is um, 18.4 pababa, yun ay underweight. Pero kapag ang BMI mo ay 18.5 to 24.9, kung nasa gitna ng range na ito, ito ay normal weight or healthy weight. So, for example, ang BMI na lumabas ay 18.5 siya ay normal weight. Another example, the BMI is 20 or 20.1 siya ay normal weight pa rin. Kasi pasok dito sa range na ito. While 25.0 to 29.9 eto naman ay classified na as overweight. So, pag nasa gitna nitong 25.0 to 29.9, siya ay classified na as overweight. And then, lastly, kapag naman greater than or equal to 30, eto na ay classified as obese. No? So, kapag ang BMI ay 30 pataas, yun ay classified as obese na. So, yung obese or yung obesity ay meron tatlong class. Merong class 1, class 2, and then class 3. So, class 1 if the BMI is 30 to 34.9 class 2 if the BMI is 35.0 to 39.9 and last classic, class 3 if the BMI is greater than or equal to 40 uh, greater than 30 na BMI yan ay obese pero meron tayong tatlo pang class ng obese so kapag Nagfall sa range ng 30.0 to 34.9, siya ay classified as obese class 1. Pag naman 35.0 to 39.9, classified siya as obese class 2. And then last, pag 40 pataas, siya ay obese class 3. Okay, so here's the classification of weight status by BMI. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, mag-solve muna tayo ng BMI. Example ng BMI. And then, i-identify natin kung ano tong weight status niya. Kung siya ba ay underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. Okay, let's have this example. From the comment or question of Miss Ramina. Ma'am, paano po i-compute ang weight na 45 kg 
ang width and then ang height po ay 5 feet flat. Okay, so let's use this. Again, what is the formula of BMI? It is weight over height squared. Unit nga pala sa weight nito ay kg and then nung sa height ay meter squared. Then, ang weight niya ay 45 kilograms and then ang height ay 5 feet. 5 feet. So, again, since itong ay hindi ka pareha sa standard formula, i-convert natin itong feet to meters. Okay? So, panoorin nyo na lang yung previous um, videos ko about this. Kung paano magko-convert ng feet to meters. Paano magko-compute ng BMI kapag ganito ang given. Okay? So, 5 feet. Ang conversion ng feet to meters. Ang 1 foot I equals to 0 0.3048. So, bali ganyan. Dapat itong baba ay naka-square. Since ang nasa standard formula ay may square. Let's solve this first. Since ito ay fit fit cross multiplication, cancel na natin yan. So, ang gagawin natin, 5 times 0 0.3048. 5 times 0 0.3048 is equals to 1.524. Pero, i-square pa natin yan. Sulat muna natin dito. 1.524 squared. So, times natin itself by itself. The answer would be 2.3226 meters squared. Nirag off ka na. So, next natin to. I-compute. Um, 45 divided by 2.3226 equals 19.3226. 37 kilograms per meter square. Okay, so ang nakuha nating BMI by this given is 19.37. So, let's see. Tingnan natin yung classification table. Kung ano ba to classified. Anong weight status niya. Let's see the table. So, again, the answer is 19.37. So, hanapin natin to sa table natin. So, saan ba siya magpo-fall dito sa ating um, table, sa ating mga range? Hanapin natin. Okay, so, 19.37 ay pasok siya sa tama, sa normal weight. So, masasabi natin na itong person na ito with uh, 45 kilograms na weight and 5 feet na height, siya po ay normal weight or healthy. Healthy. Okay, so ganun lang kadali malaman kung ano ba ang weight status niya by looking at our BMI. If na-compute mo na ang BMI mo, malalaman natin kung ikaw ba ay underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. So, monitor na natin ang ating eating habits. Or kung kailangan ba natin kumain pa kasi tayo underweight. Or kailangan na lang natin i-maintain or kailangan natin bawasan ang ating kinakain. And that's it. That is the classification of weight status. I hope meron kayo natutunan. 
again if you have any questions video suggestions just comment it down and i'll try to answer it thank you for watching this video again this is me teacher h reminding you to never give up and always do your best i'm rooting for you okay so thank you goodbye